everyone and welcome to my very first speed paint on this channel. If you haven't seen already, I made a shorts video where I had to draw myself as whatever the wheel of fate landed upon. And the prompt I got was Reaper. Like the Grim Reaper. At first I was gonna re-spin and pick something else, but then I was like, eh, might as well, it got chosen. So this is me drawing myself as the Grim Reaper with my own interpretation to it. As we all know, Grim Reapers usually wear the long black cloaks, faces covered by a shadow with a scythe, but I wanted to take it one step further by bringing more of my character's features into it, which you'll see as the video progresses. I wanted to add quickly that I apologize if I speak super fast at all. I'm trying to consciously not speak too fast, but usually when I do these, I have a script and I, I make shorts videos. Usually it's one minute long, so yeah. I talk super fast sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, in this speed paint, I'm using Clip Studio Paint, something that I've had for a very long time, but hadn't really used it recently. Mainly because I draw on my iPad and Clip Studio on there is like a monthly thing. Which no, I, I don't want to pay for a monthly fee, no thank you. But I didn't make this video using my iPad, I actually made it using my drawing tablet, which I bought a few months ago, I, I think. For those wondering, it's the XP Pen Artist 22. It's the second edition, and despite not having any touch accessibility, it's been lovely to work with. It's surprisingly affordable and big, like, like really big. And I'd highly recommend if you wanted something big and affordable in a sense. I mean, it's like $500 and you can get discounts on it too, so there's that. Though I would highly recommend that you get the remote as well. It's an extra 30 bucks, but if you have a decently sized desk like me that's extremely cluttered and got stuff everywhere, and you can't reach and turn and move stuff, then yeah, get the remote. It's small, you can hold it in your hand the entire time if you want, and it just saves getting muddled up if you make a little mistake. I'll put it in the link in the description for the tablet if you are interested in getting it, or something similar that XP Pen offers. I mean, I've had a blast using it, it's not been too bad, especially considering it's like my first ever drawing tablet with a screen, so yeah, there's that. If you wanted advice for what drawing tablet you wanted to get, I would not recommend coming to me, I do not know anything about it. <laughs> I also read that you guys enjoy me doing art related stuff, so I hope that I am able to do that more as I progress with my art. But enough about that, back to the Grim Reaper. You wanna know the first thing I thought when I read Reaper? The Grim Reaper from The Sims. Like damn, what an icon. I mean, with the right mods, I could have a sim give birth to the next Grim Reaper, which is a bit of a scary thought, as they usually are depicted as skeletons with no vital organs or reproductive systems. It's literally Undertale Sands and the terrible fandom all over again. And I'm allowed to say that, I was in the fandom once, it was terrible. <laughs> you, people would agree with me, that's the point I'm trying to make. But oh boy, the last I checked, the Grim Reaper brings death, not life. Now, usually a Grim Reaper is something that collects the souls of their victims, sometimes there's a little more than that, but usually that's just it. So me making a world for where the souls would travel through was more of a figment of my own imagination to just set the theme. Like, I don't know how to draw backgrounds, so this was like an experiment of one or two things. That, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this background. I didn't think I would because I know nothing about backgrounds, but here we are. There's a background now. Just look at all my old art. You, you can clearly see there's just a single color or polka dots or some, something like that. I don't like backgrounds. And I can hear the comments already. GT, this is for the people that know me. You don't have eyes, so why does this version of you have eyes? Technically, I do have eyes. Actually, no I don't. I have eye sockets. Correcting myself there. I don't have eyes, I have eye sockets. Like, if you were to punch me in the eye, your hand would just go through my skull because now your hand is stuck in an eye socket. Who would have guessed? I love making character lore that's so stupid for myself. <laughs> Does that make this canon though? Of course not. I'm altering my character to fit a theme that isn't relevant to my character. Like in other words, I'm doing this for fun while also growing my artistic skills while making content for you guys because it's fun. This is not canon. The, this, this, this little red dot thing, I don't know if we're up to it in the video, but there's a red dot as, as like a pupil thing. Th that's, that's just your, the eyes. No, there's no eyes, that's just dust. It's, it's dust. <laughs> it can be whatever you want it to be. It, it's not canon. What is canon is a dark void <laughs> where the eyes are meant to be. You know, it's surprising because when I first began drawing this piece, I was thinking in my head, okay, I don't feel like drawing today. I haven't drawn in a long time. So this is probably gonna look really terrible by the time I'm finished. And then boom, look at this masterpiece. I, I surprised myself with something that I thought I couldn't do. Ladies and gentlemen, I could do it for sure. Didn't realize I could, you know? I'm very proud. I'm, I'm honestly proud that I was able to do it. And I think that 
anyone can do it even, even like maybe if you took a few weeks off yeah totally you can draw after that this isn't me being mocking at you whatsoever to be fair i've been drawing for how many years now too many Th that doesn't neglect the fact that my art style and art in itself could improve exponentially but hey Progress! I'm so happy with myself. Anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the speed paint, however long that I may choose that to be in editing. And yeah, enjoy it. I'll talk to you at the very end as well.
And that's it. I had a pretty great time drawing this. I mean, it took like, what, five hours? Holy crap, that's too long for, for these videos. <laughs> I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and I might do an art series in the future. Might put all the speed paints together somehow. But as of right now, I've got assignments due at the end of the week, which I should really be prioritizing. I hope my parents don't hear me say this. Um, but you know, you know, you, I'm on the grind here. I make videos and entertainment and content. I can't miss like at least four days. It's fine. It's life. And it was fun. I wanted to do this. I want to upload this. So it's completely okay with me at least. Also, I wanted to thank this channel's members for joining the Fairy Bread VIP. You can join as well. It's like five bucks each month, I think. And I just wanted to say thank you for helping me be able to afford some of these things. Like your small contributions towards me and making more content is, it, it shows me that you care about the things that I do because you are financially putting money into this and I think, holy shit, why would you do that? If you want to join the Fairbread VIP, you get a bunch of perks such as special Fairbread emojis, polls, which I haven't done yet. You get priority comments on my videos and merch discounts if I ever make merch. I still gotta do that. But to be fair, you also get the VIP role on my Discord server, which I also haven't made yet. Oh my god. I do apologize. <laughs> I haven't gotten around to it. I'm, I'm so mean. I'm doing this on purpose. Totally. Absolutely. I'm gonna butcher some of these names most likely, but thank you to Kim Anton, Nicole Lay, Lim Lee Fon, Eland Lamprech, Grim Reapers. I'm not kidding. This video was practically made for you, mate. Lauren Zside. I don't think you're the real Lauren. I checked, but um, hi. But I did make fan art of them, so yeah, that will probably be on my Instagram link in bio. Amanda Sunka, Jelly, and Taco Charlie. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And comment down below what I should draw myself as next, or what I should add to my Wheel of Fate. And I'll see you in the next video. Yep.